So Pisces, let's see what's going on. First, we're going to start with the overlying message. Then we're going to do a full on spread. You guys know how we rock over here. Any information you need will be listed in the description as well. Pisces, for the next 48 hours, what's the energy? We have deconstructing doubt. Only my beliefs are in my way. Okay. So right off the bat, spirit is saying your thought process is key. All right. Where is your mental health standing at? Make sure you guys... In the height of personal changes that you're going through, make sure that you're not slipping into letting your personal anxiety create doubt around the growth that you're creating within your own life. Okay, the choices that you guys are about to make that's going to better your situation, whether that's a change in career, home, even a, a relationship here, whatever this is. Make sure you're not getting caught up in second guessing your choices because you're intuitively being led to make these choices, to make these decisions in the first place. Okay. Doubt could be also the only barrier, like this card says, that's keeping you from reaching that end of the rainbow, essentially. All right. Um, with love, too, this is like a random message I'm getting. With love, a lot of you, this doubt that this card is speaking on has a lot to do with your love life where you're struggling with believing that you have genuine connections with um, newer people that you meet. You may automatically go into defense mode or you may be, like I said, more so weary of people and waiting to kind of catch them up and stuff. And this is making sure that you don't do that to yourself because that's like waiting to experience disappointment, essentially trying to prove yourself right about all people being the same essentially so be careful of that thought process but getting deeper into this the present energy i do have the princess of dis in reverse so there may be a capricorn taurus or virgo that you may not be trusting like that right now um you could have really thought that this person and you had potential but they could be doing this thing where like they were showing you one side and now they're starting to show you another side where it's like you're questioning okay is there still potential for this connection to be what i envisioned it to be or is this just more so a fantasy okay um, a lot of you also could be cutting off a friends with benefits situation. Regardless of the zodiac sign, this is what I'm seeing. A friends with benefits situation may get cut off after you realize this person may have been just using you for physical means, you know? Um, I also see career-wise, it's like you guys want to branch out and do something different um, or expand on what you're doing at the moment, but you could be like kind of questioning whether or not that's a smart move for you right now. That's what I'm saying. I get a lot of doubt around some big decisions you guys are trying to make here. And it's only because these are new beginnings. This is new energy and it's kind of scary. It's exciting, but okay. Now the overall theme for you with the two of cups. So the theme it has a lot to do, this time frame has a lot to do with how you connect with other people, not just on a romantic level, but this is like family relationships that are being put into question, um, business partnerships, also personal balance. Your energy may be just all over the place and you guys may be needing to get personal balance when it comes to your emotional health and also in your masculine and feminine energy. Okay, why is the two of cups here as the theme? Yeah, so some of you guys may be on a temporary break from a love interest and this person is on your mind. Or if you're not on a break from this person, like I said, they're just on your mind like crazy. You're trying to make up your mind on what to do. What's hidden? I have the five of swords. So this could be some mind game someone's playing. They could be acting as if they're like so with the program, but they could be just kind of getting by for right now. You know, people just kind of in the beginning of relationships sometimes when they're trying to keep up with the facade, they do this thing where 
they act like they're just so interested in the same things that you are. But then as time goes on, you start to realize that's not necessarily the case. And that could be what's happening here where you're getting this sense or some of you don't even um, realize it yet. But of course, it will be revealed that somebody may be playing a level of mind games. Also, again, this is going back to what this original card is saying. This is like self-sabotage or like mm, like self-doubt also within this Five of Swords. So with the Fool card, again, I'm not going to touch on this too much because I already said this. A lot of you are nervous because you're about to make some huge impacts in your life in terms of stepping into new beginnings. And you need to stare clear of doubt. Now, advice for you with the Ace of Pentacles, um, there's a need for you to make sure that you're holding on to as much money as you can, especially if you're like moving or you're like relocating. Just because you are relocating, that does not mean that you need to spend all your money um, to fix things. Um, and I get it. <laughs> like some of you really want things to be personable to you especially if you're like moving into a home or something but make sure that you're you're saving your money also beyond just with moving or anything like that just in general Pisces you guys need to make sure that you're holding on to money as much as possible make sure you're not going too crazy during this holiday season um, if you celebrate that um, but just in general you guys need to be aware of that also with a newer connection really take your time in order for you to have a stable relationship, you must nurture it. You must get to know who you're dealing with. And if you are going to take this connection serious and want it to be something that could lead to marriage or lead to something really serious, you really want to marinate on this connection and allow this person's true nature, what they're like when they're mad, when they're sad, when they're happy, show like be shown to you before you make any drastic moves here. Especially if this is like really fresh. Um, hmm. Okay, moving on to the next card. This is going to represent the possible challenge with the Princess of Swords. Mm, you could have somebody where you try to cut them off, but they always try to reach out to you and communicate with you to see what you're doing or like if you're still interested in them and then you may not listen to your intuition all the way when it comes to ignoring them and therefore it creates a situation where you guys are still holding on to each other on an energetic level also the challenge could be like you guys have a lot of great ideas but again, some of you are not listening to your intuition when it comes to needing to save your money right now. It just may not be the time to be like trying to do too much with money. I'm telling you. Um, also, the issue may be that you're interested in someone and it's like you're really intrigued by them. You're trying to get to know them, but it seems like they're very closed off. Like there's a piece of them that they're not all the way giving you and you can sense it. But what's ahead? I do have the devil card. Um, so something with the Capricorn may come up in the near future. Um, if not a Capricorn, this is you having to address more so uh, toxic attachments, whether that's substance abuse, um, self-doubt, a sexual relationship you have with someone that either this person can't seem to get enough or you can't. Just lower vibrational things that you guys are having to nip in the bud before you guys really elevate. Because th those are the only things that are keeping you from elevation is the things that you're aware of that. Yeah. That keep you from feeling confident, keep you from being secure financially as well. But this is what I see. I wish you the best of luck and I will see you in the next one.